Hi, this is Scott, Senior Solutions Consultant with Adobe in the education team. Today we're going to show you a few new cool features in Photoshop CC 2014, as well as some of my favorite features that have rolled over from previous versions. First thing I want to do is move one of these individuals over. So I'm going to do that by grabbing the Content Aware Move tool. And the Content Aware Move tool, if you take this, and this is new and the 2014 version of Photoshop Creative Cloud. You just select the individual and then you can move the individual over to a new place. Now that was available in older versions but what was new in this version is the fact that you can change your color adaptation numbers so that it will blend in better with the background. So if I just type in zero there and tab that out you can see that the background where this moved from it's not quite correct. It's not blending in as quite as good as it can. So I'm going to just highlight that and tap my up arrow key a couple times. You can see as I'm typing my up arrow key, it adjusts the color adaptation settings and the person perfectly blends in now with the background. And all I need to do is deselect by going either to select, deselect, command D if you're on the Mac, control D if you're on the PC. We've just moved that person from the previous location to the newest location and it blends in perfectly. So the next thing we're going to do is um, add uh, another object to this. We'll just go ahead and grab this elephant and the elephant is on its new layer and you could select it using the quick selection tool if you needed to. I'm just going to take this elephant with the uh, with the move tool, um, the little arrow tool up at the top, just grab the move tool select it, drag it onto the tab till it switches over to the other project. Do not let go of your mouse button until your cursor is resting on the page and then let go. And now we've effectively moved the elephant from one project to the other. We'll just kind of place this in the foreground. What's also neat about this is it being on its own layer is we can come up to choose edit and puppet warp and it gets this mesh across the elephant. Now, how Puppet Warp works is you use a series of pins to either um, pin the elephant to its background or to move the elephant's um, pixels around, and you'll see that happen in just a minute. So these pins are pinning the elephant to the background in various places. Then I can hover over one of these pins and just move the uh, material. So in this case, I'm just moving the trunk um, into a new location. What's neat about this, you can even overlap this onto the existing material and then tell that specific pin to go down in depth. So now this pin's uh, material is going to be below the, the elephant. Um, and then we can even take, like for example, its leg and kind of move its leg around. Um, really cool tool that uh, has been in Photoshop for a while. It's really useful for bending pixels around doing amazing things. So when you're all done with that, you just uh, hit your inner key or your little plus sign up at the top. I did fail to tell you if you need to, uh, for example, remove a pen, you can just select the pen and hit your delete key. And then again, once you're once you're all done, just look the little checkbox or hit your inner key. And now we've moved that elephant around. To get the elephant to blend in a little bit more, you can see it's a little bright. So I'm going to take the elephant layer to come down and add an uh, adjustment layer. So we'll click on that. We'll just choose uh, brightness and curves for this one. You can see uh, I like to take this panel and kind of move it to the side so I can see both the elephant or the material that I'm working on and the settings. We'll just change the brightness. Um, in this case you can see that this adjustment layer in my layers panel is affecting everything below it including the background layer. We just want it to affect the elephant. So to do that, um, I'm going to place my cursor over the horizontal line separating the brightness adjustment layer and the elephant. And I'll hold down my Alter Option key and then just click. You can see that little cursor appears when you hold down your Alter Option key. When you click, it ties that adjustment layer to the layer right directly below it. So then I can do things like maybe darken up the elephant so he blends in a little bit more, a little bit of contrast. You'll see the, the wrinkles in the elephant skin become much more apparent. And when you're all done with that, um, you know you can close the properties panel if you wish. Whenever you want to edit that, you just double click on the, the brightness adjustment layer. And it's kind of the power of this tool is you just double click on it. It opens back up its properties and you can readjust that as you see fit. So the final thing we'll do is add some text. I'm just going to get a text layer, um, choose 
uh, is some fine. I'll just go with a nice thick font here. And we'll just type in Africa. Um, I'm going to get my move tool to select that and then do a control D or command D on a Mac and resize this so it's much larger. And put this right into place. That looks pretty cool. Now something that you can do, I kind of like that black font, but something else that you can do is take this text layer. So I'm going to get my move tool to deselect everything and select the text layer. Come down to this little FX button, which is your add layer styles. I'll click on that and just choose to apply a little bevel to this. Um, in this case, you can choose emboss, outer bevel, whatever. I'm gonna, outer bevel sounds good. And then we'll um, pop up the side a little bit. So it's just giving a little texture, um, soften it up. It's kind of like taking sandpaper going around the edges. You could soften that up if we needed to, adjust the depth of the bevel. Don't want to go too crazy on this. But that, that just makes it stand out a little bit and uh, gives it some depth. Um, a, a neat effect, by the way, is that you can come to its fill. So any one of these layers has a fill adjustment associated with it. So here, opacity, the opacity adjustment will adjust the entire layer. So you can see what I just did there and its effects associated with it, which is kind of cool. But if I didn't want to affect the bevel, I could just go to the fill slider and drop that all the way down to zero. And now only the fill of that layer has become transparent while the bevel and emboss effect uh, is still stands out and then you can take that and move it wherever you like. So a couple neat tricks within uh, Photoshop. Uh, remember that new to CC 2014 is the fact that you got content aware move tool with the color adaption settings, which will help you really blend in the background of your content aware move. So again, this is Scott with Adobe. Uh, hopefully you've learned something new and can apply it to your own projects.